Alright, um, welcome to the Little Ninja, uh, video blog. This is our, uh, third one. Uh, this one, uh, this video blog is going to mainly talk about, uh, cauliflower ear and what it is, how you get it, and what you can do to do it. In case you've ever noticed from when I went like that, that's my, that's my good ear. <laughs> uh, and this is my cauliflower ear. You need to get a look at that. Yeah, that's not even a bad one. Uh, but again, that's my good ear. That's my bad ear. All right, but this is cauliflower. Uh, cauliflower ear is basically to sum it up. It's an injury you acquire from the cartilage in your ear um, breaking, and then it fills up with kind of like a bloody pus would be a good way to describe it at first. So it's like a liquid. Um, and this is an injury that's occurred to like a blunt, a blunt trauma hitting it and it, when it breaks the cartilage then it fills it up and then it will harden making like like oh, pretty much a stone a stone of um whatever it's in it uh, that's basically that's easiest way for me to describe what it is uh, it's not like contagious or infectious or anything uh, it's basically a trademark of a wrestler, a boxer, um, an MMA fighter. MMA fighters have terrible ones. Uh, if you ever watch, uh, it was actually in a fight. Kimbo Slice was, and they let this guy into the ring. And his ears were like flopping all over the place, and it was like he actually the ref called the fight because actually his cartilage broke, which I thought was a little bit stupid. But that's a whole nother thing. But um, mainly, what it is is this part of your ear uh, it's broken right around here because cartilage is not bone um, cartilage is like a lighter or like your nose is made out of cartilage and stuff uh, but basically it's a little bit weird because I'm always facing this way instead of that way but basically what happens okay, try to get over here. Um, basically what happens is that after it builds up there's either two things you can do you can either one let it stay there it's gonna harden it's gonna bulk up which basically is gonna be like this big weight right now attached to your ear um, but not like this or two you can have it drained what if uh, draining is a thing a lot of wrestlers will do and actually coaches are getting certified to do and stuff what they do, they just wipe down your ear with an alcohol swab, stick a syringe in the area where it's bulking out, just drain it out, and apply pressure to it. Um, you have to keep pressure on it or it's going to build up. You have, to, or you have to keep pressure on it for at least 24 hours at the minimum. That's what I've done. Um, and basically, then you get less of a build up or anything like that. Um, it's not anything bad or anything. It, it will just get a little harder, and maybe your ear might be a little bit deformed. But I mean, I bet you when you, you when you saw me like this, you couldn't even tell the difference. But um, the cauliflower ear is basically the calling card for uh, fighters, wrestlers, kickboxers, anything like that, because you're taking a lot of blunt force trauma to your face, and you know that's gonna hurt. <laughs> you know, just like that. Um, but then after, but after you're done training and stuff, which, you know, uh, a lot of people who are close to me are telling me, oh, it's going to be in like two years, right? And I'm like, I don't know. Uh, we're still in the up in the air. But uh, what they do is you'll actually have like plastic surgery done on it. You have to go to a select surgeon, and they're actually going to cut it, go in, cut it, and then they're going to remove it, and they're going to sew uh, the ear back together because the ear where the cartilage actually forms is basically just these two, this two thin slices of uh, skin. And what happens is it breaks and then it builds up like that, and then you get a bulb on your ear. Um, what's really stupid is uh, it's a, fa a fad I heard uh, down south. I think I read it in a book or something. But that um, kids are breaking the cartilage in their own ear so they can appear tougher. That's stupid. Alright, you don't want it because it hurts. I mean, when I first got it, I thought, oh yeah, I'm a tough guy now. No one's gonna want to mess with me. Then, like that, like two nights later, as I was going to bed, I'm like, ah, this hurts. You know. So basically, you know, you don't want it, but if you do get it, all the respect to you, I'll be like, oh, yeah, high five. You know, because you're part of the club now. Um, basically, no one really 
cares or anything about it, but it's just a good thing to let people know about since I'm always getting asked like, what's wrong with my ear uh, by people who get too close to me and I tell them, oh, I can't come up with our ear, broke the cartilage, blah, 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 blah. One of the funniest things that you can actually you get cauliflower ear, you can do, you can, uh, I, I, actually, it's better if you do this to a person maybe opposite sex, um, you go up there and you ask them to touch it, then they'll sit, co say comments about how hard it is, and then you just, well, you can tell the rest of the joke like that, but, uh, that's, that's just something I do for kicks every now and then, but, um, it's, um, that's what cauliflower ear is, and that's how you can treat it. Uh, there's you can get it in any spot of your ear. Mainly, you can get it here in the ring part of the upper part. Uh, you can get it here down at the lobe. A lot of people actually get it on the lobe or uh, the back here, like this. Or you can actually get it inside, which will make uh, earbuds really hard to wear. I would not recommend getting in there. I actually have it a bit on the inside right there and just a little bit up there at the top, uh, but. If you're like if you're like my brother, you had it a bit more. But other than that, um, that's what cauliflower ear is. Um, another suggestion is uh, these are uh, earbuds known as uh, skull candies. I'm pretty sure there's like a billion gener generic ones of them. Uh, but if you do get cauliflower ear, they work really well for going in your ear like that. You know, it doesn't come out or anything like that. But that's what cauliflower ear is, and that's pretty much all I have to say on the subject. So, till next time. I'm Lil Ninja. Take care.